All right, guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a quick video on the linear rail upgrade for Z axis. So let's bring you on in. We'll get a closer look at the install here. So I got the rails running a little bit over the column. Um, I could, I could uh, trim them a little shorter. I wasn't sure when I was installing them um, where the top would actually land because I changed where the Z ball nut mounts. But as you can see, I trimmed, I basically followed the, the inside casting line with my cutting wheel and I cut down uh, and eyeballed where the bottom of the dovetail would be. Cut it all the way down and I ended up using some chisels and just broke broke that last little bit of webbing out. So now I, so that left me with a nice machine surface that's been scraped. Um, this surface really was, didn't have any wear on it. It was the inside of the dovetail that had quite a bit of wear, um, anywhere between 10 and 15 thou uh, was wear in this section. And then, so if I Z'd up all the way, I'd get too tight so I was either left with a lot of chatter or a Z and not full Z movement so that's the reason why I went with the ball the linear bearing upgrade but one of the nice things is, is here's the limit switch there I'm gonna make a metal tab I think um, to get a little bit better accuracy out of the Z home but nice thing is, is I went from a max of 75 inches per minute to 150 which really makes the Z movement quite a bit nicer um, and then of course I'm still in the middle of my ATC build so that's, I definitely recommend it. Um, there's another side note. This here is a half inch plate. And then this is machined down <clears throat> quarter inch or 250, 200 thou I think is what I machined off uh, to have a reference surface for um, the blocks. So I'd have a nice parallel surface with this surface because you know uh, plate or flat stock doesn't really come terribly flat so or bar stock anyway um, so th that's why that's a little bit thinner um, and then I just took a rotary bird to the inside of the casting here to allow enough movement to tram the head in this way um, so so once it's trammed in you really don't move it you just check it every now and then so and I with this mill I almost never tilted the head 45 or whatever because it's CNC you don't really need to so that's the update thanks for checking it out I definitely recommend it bye